Morning, Donna. Morning, Ash. How, How are you? I'm good, thanks, and you? I'm good. Busy day today. Anything special planned? Always a busy day. Um, meetings. Then yeah. I've got a speech at Dubai College. And then I have a black tie dinner tonight, an awards night the entertainer's sponsoring, and everything else in between. What's making me feel positive? Everything makes me feel positive. Um, work, my kids, my friends. Um, you know, just when things go well, it's all positive. What you put in is what you get out, right? So what are you going to be wearing tonight to the Time Out Awards? Oh, I don't know yet. I have a couple of dresses. I'm quite last minute with that thing. Morning, girls. Um, I'm quite last minute, so I'll try a few things on and whatever I feel comfortable in at the time. You sound like a busy woman. Are you out most of the nights in the week? Um, no, I try not to be out too much in fairness. It's just this week I have a few things on. Yeah, this is my office now, so I'm quite excited to be back in my old office again. What was the last redemption you made on the Entertainer app? Oh, good question. Um, from memory, I think it was at the Western at Shumai. Um, we had a work function there, so I took the team there and it, it was there that we used the last redemptions. Mm -hmm. More questions? Enjoying your new office? Me with it. I love my new office. It's quite peaceful today because no one else has moved into this area yet. My picture. I actually bought that in Egypt many years ago and it's my sort of girl power picture. Anything you're watching at the moment? Oh, um, I'm actually looking for another good series. I do watch a few series when I can. But the problem is when I've finished them, I forget what I've actually watched. Is there anything you're reading at the moment? Um, I don't have a lot of time to read. I have just finished a book. It was called Fear, okay. I believe. Um, it was like a sort of SAS, like action sort of um, novel. It was good. Okay. I need something to not bore me. What is the most important life, life lesson that you've learned? Life lesson. Um, my nana used to teach me always save for a rainy day. Oh. Oh, yeah. So I did take that on board and I believe everything in life happens for a reason. I know it's a very big cliche, but I'm a big believer of it. Favourite brunches in the UAE? Oh, brunches. I haven't been to a brunch in a while. Yeah. I like brunches where there's some atmosphere. Um, it's not too feral, in fairness. <laughs> they serve decent um, vino. Yeah. Nice food and probably a nice location. Do you have a favorite hidden gem in the UAE? Hidden gem, oh, I wouldn't say it's hidden gem. I love Kite Beach. Um, I like Dosk um, for a casual Sunday afternoon. I, oh, I wouldn't say they're hidden gems though. Sometimes yeah. they're just my standard places to go. I love all the restaurants and places. I'm quite adventurous. I can go out and about, try new things. Yeah, no, it's whatever comes, I'm happy to try out. What was your most recent trip? Where did you travel to? Thailand for my birthday. Oh, happy belated birthday. Thank you. <laughs> I had a great birthday and I had 80 of my friends in Thailand, so it was great. Donna, is there a meal from a restaurant that you keep ordering or cannot get enough of? Oh, I do love food. Um, one of my favorite, I do love Sushi Samba. That is one of my favorite restaurants. And I literally order the same thing every time I go back there. Favorite place on the entertainer to take the kids to? So a kids activity. Oh, good question. Um, it would probably have to be probably a water park. Thanks, Donna. We'll Pleasure. see you a bit later. Bye. Good luck. Are oh, they creating zones? How are you? Oh, you're stalking me. <laughs> what is your favourite holiday destination? Oh, I have to say I love the Maldives. That yeah. is definitely one of my favourites. And, and Thailand. What is a superpower you wish you had? Oh, a superpower. That's a good one. Oh, I don't know. Um, oh, you know, everyone always says, says to read into someone and look into the future. But I think if you could see that, then it would be quite boring, right? Because life's a journey. So I don't think I really want a superpower. Donna, you've always got so much energy and people always ask, is it because you drink so much coffee? Actually, one thing a lot of people don't know about me is I'm allergic to caffeine. Oh, and really? And I have never had a cup of coffee in my life. So no, it's not because of the caffeine. So where do you get your energy from? 
Just life. <laughs> life, Ash. Just life. Oh, okay, so here. Sorry yeah. to interrupt. No problem. More questions. Love it. Yeah, we know we're, you're Sorry, running out the door in two seconds. Tell I us am. about the event you're going to now. Um, I'm going to Dubai College, actually, to do an inspiration speech to some of their students. Do you have children of your own? I do. I have two kids. Yeah. Chloe, 13. Jack, who's 10. What is the most important value that you're trying to teach your children? Oh, value. Well, the one I try and teach them is work ethic and not to take anything for granted one of my values would be trust trust yeah. is very important to me you break that trust and I'm literally gone forever is that your core value I have a lot of core values but it's one of the core values what's another one of your core values speed yeah <laughs> speed is definitely one of my core values communication is another one um, work ethic is another one loyalty um, trust is though very important to me Give us some advice that you'd like to give your 21-year-old self. Oh, um, 21 years old. Always believe in yourself. What's your biggest strength? Oh, communication. What is the priciest thing that you've splurged on? Oh, that costs uh, probably a house. A house? Um, if we're talking like that. Or, or maybe bags or shoes, but I use them forever, so I like to call them an asset. Okay. How would you define yourself in three words? Oh, fun, loyal, and energetic. Beach club day or dune bashing? Definitely beach club day. What movie made you cry? Oh, one of my, uh, not made me, oh, not really made me cry, but two of my favorite all-time movies are Annie when I was young, Orphan Annie, and Shawshank Redemption. What's one thing people don't know about you? Uh, I, I hate heights and I don't really drive. Three things you can't live without? <laughs> my children, my phone and my treadmill. Diamonds or pearls? Diamonds. What's something you notice about someone when you first meet them? A smile. They smile? Yeah, yeah, I have to have a good smile. What's heavy played on your music playlist right now? Oh, oh God, J-Lo, any boppy music. Oh, Daryl Braithway, he just played at my birthday. He's it for now, Daryl. What's your guilty pleasure? Oh, a glass of wine. Yeah. <laughs> Cheese platter. And, and what, lollies. Yeah, and lollies, of course, lollies. <laughs> what makes you feel accomplished? Oh, what makes me feel accomplished? When everyone I care around me is happy. Awesome. And I feel good within myself. Thank you, Thank you for having us. I'm getting ready to go out tonight. That's um, fine. So come in. Oh, come in. exciting. We can talk and to get dressed at the same time. That's fine, that's perfectly fine. Um, um, so let's jump straight into it then. Straight into it. What's your biggest weakness? Oh, weakness, I like to call it a development area. Um, probably my patience. I sometimes don't have as much patience as I'd like. So I'd have to probably work on my patience a little bit. What's the most adventurous thing you've done? Adventurous thing, I would say move to Dubai. I'd only ever been to Bali beforehand and I moved here at 26. So that was quite adventurous for me at that age to move to a whole new country and leave my family behind. What's your pet peeve? Mm, I have a few of those as well. <laughs> um, Name one. Oh, probably incompetence would be one, okay. I'd say. I get a bit frustrated sometimes. That's probably me as well. Besides your phone or wallet, what are a couple of your must-have purse items? Oh, lip gloss. Yeah. Definitely would be one. Sunglasses. Yeah. Would be number two. Um, Oh, I don't really carry that much in my bag, to be honest. I'm quite low maintenance. Um, yeah, maybe just lip gloss and sunglasses. What's one city you've always dreamed of traveling to? Oh, that I've never been to? Yeah. Does it have to be a city or can it be a country? It can be a country. Um, oh, there's still a few I haven't been to. I really like to go to Croatia. I haven't nice. been to Croatia, I haven't been to Portugal. They're two countries that I would probably like to go to. I've traveled a bit, but they're two that I haven't. Three things you'd like to do, maybe this year? Well, skiing is one of oh, them, actually. Nice. Skiing, all my friends are trying to get me skiing. So I'm actually going for my first ski lesson this Saturday. I oh, love it. So skiing is one of them. Um, what else? Going to a new country this year. So maybe it could be Portugal or Croatia. Yeah. It's again on my bucket list. And I would like to do a cruise around the Mediterranean on a nice yacht with 12 friends. What's your favorite exercise? Oh, I have a lot of different, I just like movement. I like the endorphin, but I do a lot of running. I'm not a fast runner, but I like running and I like netball as well. What's something you don't want to be doing in the next 10 years? Uh, 
sitting down doing nothing. Yeah. Um, you have to keep your body moving and your brain active. So I'd always like to have a purpose and I'd like to keep going and, um, and being fun. What's mm -hmm. the best thing that's happened to you this year? Um, my birthday party in Thailand. I oh. loved it. It was one of the best weeks of my life. My favorite <laughs> drink, oh, champagne. I do like a Pinot Grigio. Massage or facial? Oh, I do like both, but I probably have to go massage. I do love a massage. What's something that you'll never give up? Exercise. Something that you'll never give into? Smoking and drugs. Are you active on social media? Uh, yeah, relatively. Not as much as a lot of other people, but I, yeah, I'm quite active. Are you active on TikTok? No, <laughs> but I do do Snapchat with them. What's your yeah. ideal food for a cheat day? Oh, cheat day. Oh, gosh. Um, or oh, nachos, um, yeah, or a good Asian meal, lots of fried rice, ding tai fong, oh, that's yeah. really good, great really good. fried rice, chicken fri and egg fried rice, um, but yeah, my cheat day, nachos would be great, I love a bit of Mexican. What's your favourite shoe brand? Uh, Jimmy Choo. Online shopping or in-store shopping? Oh, probably online. What's your favourite swimwear brand? Kaha Kapo. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you're a good manager? Um, I don't know, why don't you tell me that? <laughs> <laughs> I think I am. I think I'm fair, firm, but fun. How does it feel being back at the entertainer? Um, I'm loving being back at the entertainer. Um, I've had five years off and I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, on that note, I'm just gonna get my dress on for tonight. Now that we're in your bedroom, do you <laughs> wear socks to bed? Socks? No, I don't <laughs> wear socks to bed, not at all. Okay, then heels or flats? Oh, I wear, I probably wear heels more than I do flats, but I do enjoy wearing flats as well. I'm okay. a bit of both. Formal wear or gym wear? Um, well, tonight it's formal wear. Oh, love it. Um, I do like formal wear, but I also am a big fan of gym gear. It's very comfortable. That's one thing you've always wanted to try, but you've been too scared to do so. Um, maybe skiing. Skiing and okay. I'm going to be doing it this weekend. So I'm getting out there out of my comfort zone. And then one last question. Will mm. you ever get married again? Oh, will I ever get married again? Good question. Um, I'd like to think so. Um, when Mr. Right comes along, then I will definitely like to get married again. Donna, thank you so much My for your pleasure. time. You look amazing. Enjoy tonight. Thank and you. Good luck. Thank you. Um, it's been fun. Bye.